everybody, this is your girl, so if you get well, let me start by saying a very big thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, and subscribed to my YouTube channel. Bigger thanks to everybody who remember to leave a comment at the comment section. You guys are doing very well. You're doing very well. In fact, reading the comments, I'm feeling like these guys are the best. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, today is another hot and spicy episode. You know how we do it here. My opinions are gotten from three things, the word of God, a lot of reading, and then small experience, you know, as a small girl. It's just very little experience. Anyway. Today we're going to be talking about maturity and relationship. You know we're still doing that series. Something and relationship, that I want and relationship and all of that. We're just picking one after the other. But trust me, the episode, the series is coming to an end very soon. So today we're doing maturity and relationships. <laughs> so what's maturity? How are you connected with age? Is there every grown-up person that is mature? Is there every young person that is immature? Um, do, how do you see somebody is mature? At what point do you think, okay, this person can be called a mature person? How do they affect relationship? All those things. We'll be seeing it, you understand, in the under, under, as in below. What am I saying? But funny enough, maturity is not connected with age. A person can decide to be mature when the person is aware of his strengths, his weaknesses, his likes, his dislikes, his responsibilities. The person is called matured. Now, I don't care if the person is 10 years, 15 years, 25 years, 200 years, whatever. As far as he's aware of all those things, and then the person can be called mature. The only thing that makes us associate maturity and age is because the more you grow, the more you experience more things, the more you mix with more people. The more you have opportunities, because of course, a long period of time gives you more opportunities, of course. So that is why it's been associated with age. But I have seen people who are in their 60s, in their 90s, and when they talk like this, you're like, oh my god, oh god. Is it that a small child is sitting inside of this guy? Or oh, it's okay. And then you have you have also seen people that are teenagers, some of them are just above teenagers, youths and all of that. But if you hear these people talk, you will know that they have already arranged their future the way they want it to look like. <laughs> No, I'm serious. When you hear this people talk, you'll be like, these guys are coming from another planet. Whenever I talk about maturity, I give people this test. Think about it, think about it. Five years ago, if you were asked to choose a life partner, who would you want to be with? Give me the that kind of uh, the pictures, the criteria, the character, whatever. Give me what you want, the qualities you wanted to be with in five years ago. And now, look at the qualities. Are they still the same? If they are still the same, then um, I don't know. But... <laughs> Seriously, if something has changed, you will know that okay, oh, 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 okay, now I understand what Sophia Gabriel is saying. But seriously, maturity, age, um, they are associated but not connected. Anyway, let's be very sincere. Like, I know very, some years ago, I would have loved to watch cartoon than anything else. And it's normal with every kid. Like, that's just it. If you want me to be happy, watch for cartoon. Sometimes when you see what some kids are watching, you're like, how do they understand this? You just see, okay, that one I saw one of my friends be watching. It's like an orange that has iron nose and the orange was just dropping everywhere and the kid was so excited I'm like I don't understand you what do you and because I don't understand this people what are they even doing but seriously they are so happy and they're excited watching it but imagine after some years some people will just be like and no more cartoons let's go into movies so you start watching movies you become a movie freak a lot of years you're like this is not even helping matters let's go into music okay you ah music music a lot of time okay this is not let's know what is happening in the country how much have they shared who has brought in who has taken out so going to news like every time there's something happening in the country you know about it after some years you're like oh no no more news let's go into um maybe my life needs the touch of the lord let's go into listening to messages and all of that working in my life and all of that but seriously this just it shows that age gives you the opportunity to keep growing working on yourself and all of that but the truth is if you don't take a necessary step a necessary step to work on a particular thing that thing will remain like that no matter how old you are that's the point mm -hmm. I let me give you a life testimony for that but I never knew I would share this but let me just say it. now I'm not good in mathematics I don't know if it's my village people that are affected. I don't just know. <laughs> Start your teaching mathematics. I get confused. Should I teach? I don't play with. I feel like I should cry. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. Now nah, I'm not good at mathematics, and this has been a challenge for a long time. In fact, it got to a point I was like, mathematics go to hell. Do I arrange my life? I don't just see importance in any of it, but I can count money. Forget about that one. I know how to count money. <laughs> I don't think that's part of maths anyway. I don't know. But seriously, and look at, and it was like this five years ago. It's still like this, and if nothing is being done, it will be like this ten years to come. So it has nothing to do with age. Nothing. Nothing. Okay, the only way I can become good in mathematics tomorrow is by studying it today, getting somebody to teach me, putting my whole head inside of it, trying my best to learn it. 
So by tomorrow, guess what? I'll become a mathematician, I'll know maths and all of that. But if you just to sit down and say in the next 10 years it will get better story, it will still remain the way it is. Now I've known people who are my schools in short, they are like, and some of them are even older than them. So it has nothing to do with age. I've seen people who don't know how to talk to people, they don't have respect, they don't they don't even know them, they always put themselves before everybody else. Like it's just them. If this thing does not concern me, if you're not putting me as first, then I'm not doing it. In fact, and some of those people are even older. And I'm like, Jerry God, this guy did not work on this thing. If you don't work on these things, you will keep seeing them. Like, how it affects our relationship is this. If the qualities of the person you want to be with, decisions, decision making, the kind of person you want to be with, like if I let me just give this story now. I went to I went to a campus, so I met so many lovely, beautiful girls there, and they are all regular students. You know, when you mention regular students, you can just guess how old are the people. So I was talking to them, just a simple question: What is your basic quality in the man you want to be with? You may not believe this. You may not believe it. Anyway, let me just tell you: What is what is that thing? What the basic? What's that thing you cannot do without? What is that thing that you must see? One auntie kept me talking for like 10 to 15 minutes. I guess what? She said her basic, her number one criteria, her number one quality is that um, the guy should be nice. And then um, he should take special care of his feet, you know? And she doesn't like people that have sand under their feet. People that don't take care of their feet. Now, <laughs> honestly, I needed the grace of God not to laugh. Anyway, I should I laugh that I would be but seriously, I was like, I can bet anything in the next five years, this girl's opinion is going to change. In fact, the fit will not be the, because by the time life pushes you, pushes you this way, pushes you the other way, you will know that, ah, whether it fits is dirty or clean, as far as it brings in something into the house, we will manage. <laughs> seriously. So I was like, okay, okay, talk to me. You said the fit didn't work. <laughs> Other people, other funny people, of course, there are people who have already know where their life is going to. You hear them say something like, ah, this guy has to be a child of God, I cannot talk. Now, when you talk to some people, they'll tell you, ah, I cannot be with somebody who is not tall, who is short, who is this, who is not from this state, who is that. I'm like, ah, eh? so this is your problem. Being from a state or not being from a state, how does it affect your marital life? Okay, I don't know. How does um being tall or short affect your marital life? I don't know. Anyway, the truth is, it gets to a point, and then because of the things you've seen around, because of a complete study you've taken, you know, what is marriage, what is this, what is that, you put your head into studying it, having the likes of my Moro, link to my Moro around you, and um, Pastor K, and all of them around you, they're shaping your life, and then next time they ask you, what do you want in a man? You will just, in fact, you will tell them to give you two days, let's just say all the days you want. <laughs> Seriously, maturity is affecting our relationships. I mean, lack of maturity. Lack of maturity is affecting our relationships. And the problem is that because I'm going to get married to this person, we're going to start raising kids. For those who see raising kids are necessary. So, we're going to start raising kids. I need you to know something that we're going to teach our kids. Now, imagine if you don't know this thing and children want to know about that thing. How do you teach them what you don't know? I don't know. <laughs> Anyway, let's be sincere. We must start working on our maturity level. And I encourage people, read about a particular thing, take studies. Like, take studies, yes, take studies. Read about a particular thing in a particular time. For instance, if I have problem with um, knowing the kind of person I want to be with, very good, start downloading messages, read books, quality of um, a person you want to be with in a, mar in a marriage, whatever. Just that download message enough. There are a lot of it. In fact, once you just type, thank God for God. Once you just type it, they give you a list. In fact, listen and listen and read and read and read and read until when next they ask you that question, you will know exactly what to answer the person. It's also helping you know that nobody is perfect. The truth is, some people think everybody has to be like them or they have to be like everybody else, whatever. I'm trying to know helps you identify the spies and like nobody is perfect. Not no relationship is perfect. Now, maturity helps you understand that. It's true that some imperfections in your relationship are being created by the couples and all of that, but I understand. Still, nobody is perfect, no relationship is perfect. But we can work towards perfection. Now, maturity teaches you to see things from your partner's point of view, like, I cannot always be right. Yes, no matter how much I know, no matter how much experience I've gotten, I cannot always be right. Sometimes you might be making sense and not just seeing it. So maturity helps you to balance everything. Now, maturity helps you commit to yourself. 
to a relationship like you see when you think you see people that are jumping from one person they are just jumping as if they are frogs okay no not frogs toads whatever and then those things that jump up and down like i don't know if they are insects or whatever so you know those things that you know what jumping is when you see people like that they cannot maintain one relationship most of the sins is just lack of maturity is immaturity like disturbing these people now? because we get to a point in life and you're like what is the use it's not my airtime i'm using to call all these human beings it's not it's not my money i'm spending on all of them if maybe if i reduce them i will begin to save some money or maybe if I, okay, yes, I'll begin to save myself the stress. You know, that stress of keeping up with four people. Like, I can tell you some ladies who keep up with four or five guys. Because, you know, you cannot put all your eggs in one basket. You guys are trying, you know, you're trying very well. It's true, it's wrong, you're very wrong. You're trying the wrong way. But seriously, you people are trying, you know, because imagine receiving calls from like five different people and everybody's bugging your ears. No, yeah, it's not bugging. You want to say bugging. I want to say, everybody's bugging your ears, John. <laughs> You will confuse yourself. <laughs> Maturity helps you survive all of this. Alright. Try to study a particular term about relationships. Try to know Ali, what am I doing right now? What am I doing that is wrong? Okay, where have I not developed myself? Do I know how to talk to people? Do I know how to relate to people? Do I know how to differentiate between emotions? Do I know how to control myself? Do I know how to do this? Do I know how to do that? What do I know about child training? What do I know about child upbringing? What do I know about this? What do I know about holding a family? What do I know about almost everything? Ask yourself specific questions. Take specific studies at a particular time in your life. Yes. So that you can be call yourself a mature person so by the time I'm done taking out the studies and I, I know that okay I filled my head with so much information I can now say I'm mature relationship has a lot of stress a whole lot of stress now maturity is what will help you handle those stress in relationships seriously relationship is not capable I mean it's not like it's true because you're going to be involved with somebody you like or somebody you love so it's that's why it's been but seriously it's not it's not just like something it's not like sugar it's it's it has a lot of work to do inside of it so seriously it takes maturity to survive yes all this all, most of the headache in relationship is just because of immaturity if the two people are matured then we can curtail some of the SSCs. Mm -hmm. some of the headache we can curtail it's not what I'm talking about Anyway, so please take studies, learn yourself, learn so many things about your own self. What is what is this? What is that? What do I like? What do I hate? What am I doing that is not right? Learn all those things and begin to develop yourself bit by bit. Just you know, don't rush anything. Actually, slowly begin to develop yourself. At the end of the day, being with somebody, the person will be comfortable to be with you. You'll be comfortable being with the person because at least you've developed yourself to an extent. And please don't be so much in a hurry to get, become a married person <laughs> I'm serious don't be so much in a hurry to get married don't be so much in a hurry to get married take it easy I don't care how old you are just take it easy because at the end of the day you will have to show that person you're getting married to what I, what do I know what do I know to add into this relationship and the person has to show you to what the person knows to add into your relationship so thank you very much for joining us <laughs> that is awesome to me Thank you very much for joining us. If you like this one, trust me, you will like the rest. And um, if you're not, if you're not subscribed yet, um, I'll be taking prayers this evening. And, um, I'll be mentioning you, those people that are not subscribed. I'll be mentioning you in my prayers. I don't really know exactly what I'll be telling God right now, but by that time, I must have thought of something that I'll tell God about. So please, if you're not subscribed, just press the subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching. If you like what I'm doing, leave a comment at the comment section. I'll see you guys next week.